Welcome back everyone to our another episode of ABAP development on SAP BTP platform. So in our last episodes, we discussed the various evolution of our SAP systems and how we saw what are the things we can do on the SAP BTP platform. Now the thing is how the development is going to be done. What are the development tools that will be we will be using here. So development tools for SAP BTP ABAP development. SAP ABAP on BTP. Always keep, try to keep the things crystal clear in your mind while you are going for any sort of development. It's not only about ABAP, but about anything. So here, what SAP has done, SAP has taken one of the popular development tool which is there in the market which is called Eclipse. Eclipse is a free open source development tool by Eclipse Foundation. It is a very high, very highly popular in the Java community for Java development. Though we can do any sort of development on this platform, but mostly it is highly used for Java development. Behind the scene, SAP is also using SAP is also using Java runtime environment GRE for SAP development. That's why they chose this. So for our ABAP development on SAP BTP, what we are going to need, we will need a Eclipse tool. And then we will need a ABAP environment. Two things we need here. We need Eclipse tool and we are going to need the ABAP environment. As I said earlier, I am going to cover each and everything in detail manner live here on this. So you are just required to follow it and always hit the subscribe button and like the video. So we will have these two things here Eclipse tool and ABAP environment. I know Eclipse is a free open source tool, right? So we can just install the Eclipse. Install the Eclipse. Yeah. On this Eclipse. So we are required to install the Eclipse part. We are required to subscribe. Subscribe the SAP BTP ABAP environment, which I will show you later on. Right now, let's focus on this part. So once these two things are done, what you are going to do, we will connect our Eclipse tool with the SAP BTP ABAP environment. This is the general process here. So we will connect our Eclipse tool with the SAP BTP ABAP environment and how we are going to connect this, how this connection will be done. For this connection, SAP has given us a connection medium which is called ABAP development tools tools or some people also call it ADT. ADT is the connection medium which will help us to connect with this ABAP environment on SAP BTP platform. So how you are going to install this Eclipse tool? So for that purpose, what you can simply do is you just jump back to Google and search for SAP development tools. You open the SAP development tools here. You can also directly go for tools.hana.ondemand.com. So I'm keeping it here so that you can also have the reference of it. Tools.hana.ondemand.com. 
from here you can install the eclipse so you can go for the above section and for installation i see here the this side describes how to install and up update the front end components of edt for eclipse tool so please ensure that your operating system must be either windows 10 or higher or you can also work on apple mac os as well but you must check that whether your operating system is greater than 10.15 or not java runtime is environment is must so java environment must be there you can just go and install java search for install jre there you can go for java and you can simply download it right so you can install the java java is mandatory behind the scene that's what i said earlier Behind the scene, SAP is also using JRE for SAP development. JRE is Java Runtime Environment. Java Runtime Environment. Java Runtime Environment. Clear? So after that, we since this sap gui this part is needed when we are working on sap on-premise system for connecting with our on-premise servers but since here in this case we are going for ABAP on btp development we do not require any connection with this one so it is not needed for us we can directly go for the installation of eclipse meanwhile there is one more prerequisite that you must see which is microsoft visual c runtime environment so let me write it here steps for eclipse tool installation eclipse tool installation and configuring adt 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 steps for eclipse tool installation and configuration of above development tool so what are the things needed here very first one we must be working on greater than equal to windows 10 operating system for the windows point of view since i am working on windows i am taking this reference based on your huge case you can take it step two jre must be installed if you don't have the jre you can simply go for the google and download it from here or from the java downloads from oracle here also you can download it you see here it is again linux 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 no i will go for the windows and there we have the installer so you can directly download java from this section there won't be any problem second step will be you check for after this microsoft visual c runtime environment this is also needed so you can just download it and install it on your system i already have done it so install the microsoft visual c runtime environment runtime it is needed for the installation of adt once this whole thing is done then you can simply install the eclipse install the eclipse tool so you go there click on eclipse ide for java developers and right now you can see the latest version of eclipse from eclipse foundation is september 2025 the same month in which i am creating this video it supports the above development tools so this is more than sufficient for us right this is more than sufficient for us it will take you us to eclipse this section for the java developers where it will show all the download functionality that is available here let me just keep it so i am just keeping it here Eclipse ID for Java developers. Okay. 
right? It's taking some time. There may be due to some internet connectivity. Let's wait for it. I'll also open another tab, install Eclipse. There is the one. It's taking more time as than expected. Let me open it on another browser. Install Eclipse. Maybe there are, might be some issue on the Eclipse servers. But you can simply, here it will show the download option and you can simply download it. I already have the Eclipse installed on my system. If I show my download area, we have got here already Eclipse installed. You can just open it and it will have the shortcut of Eclipse.exe. So you can do the installation of Eclipse by double clicking on this. Once this one is done, you will see a shortcut inside your system for the Eclipse. So you can simply open it. I have the June, uh, June edition of Eclipse you can see here, which was the earlier version earlier version of it uh, at every three months eclipse in, uh, always gives a new version of the eclipse tool so i am opening my eclipse platform here it's a free open source tool for the development community and you can anyone can simply use it step five is click on help go for the new inst software install and install ADT tool. Install the ADT tool. This is a prerequisite. It's still opening. It takes some time for the opening of it. I am waiting for it. Yeah, still it is loading. Yeah, it is open, but uh, it's taking its time still. The clips is also taking some time. Let's wait for it since we are opening it for the very first time. <sighs> Starting clips ID. There is the one. When you will open it for the very first time, you might see that the app environment will not be there. I have already installed the ADT on top of it. But what you can do, you can go for help. You can go for install new software. And in this section, you can come to simply the SAP development tools and you can simply use this link install ADT tools.hana.ondemand.com slash latest. I will paste it here. It will fetch all the tools that is available here. For the development point of view, we need the ABAP development rules. And you can go for simply next. And you can do all sort of installation here. But if the prerequisite, all of them are done completely, then and only then we will be able to install it. So install ADT. After this installation, you will see that if you go for Windows, Perspective, Open Perspective, Other, you will see that ABAP Perspective is there. And we will be able to develop our ABAP projects here directly. We can simply go for File, New, and we can create our ABAP Cloud project from here. The moment we will go for a BAP cloud project, it will ask the connectivity with the ABAP environment on the cloud, which is SAP BTP platform. So that is what we are going to discuss in our next episode. We will see how to do the subscription of ABAP environment, and then we will connect with our Eclipse tool. But this configuration must be done. Install the ADT. 
right so that is all for this video please do not forget to subscribe our channel if you have liked this video if this video is meaningful for you then eventually like the video and kindly share it with your loved ones whoever want to learn the ABAP development on SAP BTP and we will continue from the next session. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.